alert forecast. KCRG TV 9 News at 10 starts now. Unless something in this state turns around and in this county turns around, um, things are going to get worse and we are not going to be able to meet the need anymore. Iowa food banks are calling for action for what they say is a crisis in food insecurity. And they say it's something most people simply are not aware is happening. Feed Iowa First says one in 10 adults in the state don't have enough to eat and don't know where their next meal will come from. KCRG TV 9's Becky Phelps joins us live in our studio after talking to food organizations about what is contributing to this increase in need. I talked with Eastern Iowa food banks and pantries as well as the Food Bank of Iowa today and they tell me they've been steadily breaking records of people in need for the past two years. Ever since added Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or SNAP benefits were stopped when the pandemic ended. Um, we take this vehicle out with us and set up a little pop-up shop. Mobile food pantries like this one held by Community Crisis Services in Iowa City are getting busier and busier. We're up about 30% from 2021 uh, and we're up about I think 15 to 20% from 2022. As more Iowa families need help from pantries and meal programs. We weigh everything that leaves our building um, and I am watching the pounds on that scale go up week after week. Community is one of many food banks that say they saw a spike in demand in April of 2022 when pandemic era emergency allotments for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or SNAP ended. We are giving food away right now and right now I had to tell a 10 year old boy that he could not take the cookies that he had taken off the table because I need them for another client because we need to try our best to get food to everyone and there isn't enough. We've hit a record every single month for the last 24 months and, and these aren't records that, that we want to set. The Food Bank of Iowa serves 55 counties across the state. It's seen food insecurity climbing in every single one. We almost can't get people to believe it, that not only is food insecurity worse than during COVID, it's the highest it's ever been in the 42 years that Food Bank of Iowa ha has existed. Hacker says an increase in awareness is an important start. I guarantee there are people in your community, in your neighborhood, at your child's school, in your church, down the street, people you know who struggle to afford food. But people who help provide this food say action is also necessary. But the long-term solution has to be legislative change. It has to be our government um, enacting the security blanket, the, uh, the security net that our clients need um, in order to climb their way out of this. And food banks are especially concerned about another jump in need this summer following the state of Iowa's decision to not participate in the federal summer EBT program. In the studio, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV 9 News. Thank you, Becky. Let's